and you could tell that he had been shot in the leg and he's just, the blood is just pouring out of his legs. When Officer Michael Majors bends down to speak to the 14-year-old shooting victim. He looks right at me, says, hey, I don't want to die. The young officer then reaches down on his holster and grabs this. My training just kicked in from Marine Corps and the police academy. Just took my tourniquet off of my holster, put it on his leg. The two high school students, 14 and 15 years old, shot just minutes after getting off the school bus here at Lincoln Street and Augusta Avenue. The shooter got away. Thursday morning, CBS 6 cameras are rolling when Officer Majors learns the impact of his decision to use a tourniquet. I received a phone call from hospital staff that uh, because of your actions on that day and applying that tourniquet, uh, your actions is uh, the reason why that young man is still alive today. Chief Christian on scene Monday afternoon had spotted the tourniquet on the 14-year-old's leg. The tourniquet, not something issued by the department, not carried by every officer. In this case, paid for by Officer Majors himself. That says a lot for the officers. It says a lot for the caliber of officers that we have here in our city. Seconds after applying the tourniquet, the bleeding slows and stops. Blood comes spurting out, gets into my uniform pants, but that's the price you pay for saving a life. Now Chief Christian proud of you, man. Thanks, glad, sir. Glad is investigating the cost of putting a tourniquet on the holster of every on-duty officer. Whatever the cost may be, it's going to be important enough for us to have it as a, as a tool that we use here in the city to save a life. In addition, Officer Majors agrees with. Oh, it's definitely a positive. It, it's, it's a great idea. Along with researching the price of a tourniquet, Petersburg police are also looking into specialized training called Stop the Bleed which will teach officers the proper way to use a tourniquet. Working 